I'm Mary Beth. And I'm Kate. And today we're going to make a, an, an appetizer. You know, the Italians love caprese salad, which is mozzarella, basil, and tomato with some kind of dressing over it. Well, I do too, but it's not practical to make it for parties because it is uh, simply too messy. So I'm going to make it in mini caprese fashion. Mm. So I've taken the bottom off an eggplant. Do we eat the eggplant? No, I don't even like it, but it's such a pretty color. <laughs> I love the color. But what we're going to do is, we're going to roll out our mozzarella cheese and okay, I'm a kitchen wimp. Cut those in half while I suit up for, for battle with the uh, messy mozzarella cheese. You know, Mary Beth, I don't think that our audience knows that um, the first time I ever see any of these recipes is right now as you're seeing them. So I never know what we're going to do next. Yeah, Kate asked me, what are we making? What are we making? And I tell her, it's a surprise. And the nice thing is you can see along with Kate how easy it is to make. Ooh, is. So I'm, uh, I'm using the type of fresh mozzarella cheese that is actually in a roll. So I've rolled it out a little bit I've and then I'm going before. to, it's pretty cool because you can stuff it with prosciutto, you can uh, spread some sun-dried tomatoes or some pesto and roll it back up. But here's what we're going to be doing. And you're going to wear those take a toothpick the whole time? The whole damn time. Oh my. Okay, you're going to take a toothpick. Okay. You are going to spear a half of a cherry tomato. Mm. Then you're going to put on a slice of the mozzarella. Then you're going to stick it through a piece of basil. And then you're going to repeat it all over again. Mm. Perhaps ending with the uh, cheese to anchor it on. And once you've done that, put it, put it over in its little holding cell. And we're going to make just several of these before we show you what the next step is. I'm still having problems with cheese, tomato, basil, cheese, tomato. Well, that's the nice part. It doesn't matter what order you put them in. You can do it to suit yourself. Just do whatever you personally consider to be pretty. And if they're non-uniform, I don't think anybody's going to complain. Why? Oh, I want a yellow one. Because they're going to vanish too quickly That's from right. the plate. And so there won't be time for an audit. So no compliance going on here, folks. Okay. We're just layering on. And you know, it's kind of nice to think about sticking a yellow one in the middle. Okay, once you have these on your skewers, you're going to have a plate like this that has a little well in it and you're going to take my essential vinaigrette and you can get the recipe for that on the essentials page and you're going to drizzle this over ever so gently. So you see how it coats the uh, skewers just a little bit? Now what you're going to do is you're going to transfer the skewers to the eggplant because the oh. eggplant's sole function in this particular case is to serve as the base for our hors d'oeuvres. It's attractive, it's food friendly, and it's very easy to puncture. If you've ever tried to do this with a, with a grapefruit or an orange, you know it doesn't work quite as well. Before you serve this, it's a good idea to come in and get a few more sprigs of basil and maybe place those under your eggplant so they're fanning out just a little bit. And then we had some um, pretty pepper rings left over from earlier that we can use to further garnish our plate. Now of course if this were for a real gathering we would have the entire eggplant coated with these little skewers. But for illustration purposes, you can see that uh, it goes together very quickly. And I'll tell you, these are yummy. They look very good. They are, so pretty cool. Pretty neat. Pretty food.